Day four of the December fall sale saw three Dubawi fillies enter the ring and all three of them left, having secured the highest prices of any foal to sell at this sale since 2002. But it was the final Dubawi on offer who topped the session when selling to John Ferguson for 800,000 guineas and in the process becoming the highest price foal in Europe this year. Out of Group 3 winner High Heeled and from the family of Irish 1,000 guineas heroine Just the Judge, the foal went the way of Ferguson, who saw off competition from the likes of the Harris family, Badger's Bloodstock and Julian Dollar. It's very hard to breed a foal that good. And if you can breed a foal that good, you deserve to be well paid for it. And High Heeled was a very good race mare. And James Wigan, who, who, who has the Dabawi filly, you know, he's been very good to us. And he's allowed us to see her on the farm and see how she developed. And she's always been an athlete. They take big risks, breeders and they send their mares to these top stallions. And it's great when it works out. Well, I'm obviously thrilled. Uh, it's a fantastic sell. Exceeded my expectations. You don't expect to get quite that much for a foal, but um, I thought she was beautiful. And I thought if any foal was worth it, she was. John Ferguson also went to 625,000 guineas for a second daughter of Dubawi. This time, it was Kenilworth House Thud's first fall from Group 1 winning mayor La Colina, who caught Sheikh Mohammed's bloodstock advisor's attention. Her mother, La Colina, was dual Group 1 winner, you know, and tough as nails. And um, whereas High Heeled was um, a very athletic, almost more of a, a lighter framed filly, La Colina was neat and strong and typical Dubawi, again, very athletic. The first Dubawi to sell was Lot 1162. This time, out of three-time black type producer hit the sky, the filly attracted plenty of attention when entering the sales ring, and the bidding quickly escalated. But it was Mayfair speculators, standing with regular agent Peter Doyle, who finally secured the chestnut for 720,000 guineas. Bowie filly uh, I, I bought in, with my old friends, uh, May, good pals from South Africa, Mayfair speculators, and we bought a lot of nice horses here in the open of book one and uh, this horse will go uh, probably to Ireland and the filly and we'll raise her and she'll be raced. Peter Doyle also purchased lot 1152, a Shamadal colt for 550,000 guineas. The Shamadal, it was a very, very nice horse, uh, waiting for him all day and by, I mean, the sire is, speaks for itself and it's very hard to get a nomination to him now because he's gone private, but he was an outstanding individual. We really liked him. Out of Dane Letter, the early stud offering is a three-quarter brother to Dewhurst Stakes winner Intense Focus and is now the second highest priced colt at the sale, behind the record-breaking 2.5 million guinea Padgers Pride. See the stars continue to be popular throughout the day and John Clark, acting on behalf of Sunderland Holdings, commented on the strength of the stallion's offspring. I thought the See the Stars foals were an exceptionally good bunch. We were interested in a number of them. We bought three and we were underbidders on five others, including the most gorgeous horse at the end of the day where we were beaten by Shadwell for the coat out of Frenet. He was a lovely, lovely horse, really wanted him. But uh, they had too much money for us on the day. They were lovely foals and they were a really even bunch of foals, which is important.